Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Sever Engineers YouTube channel. Guys, you can see this is RCC column, which size is 14 by 14 inches. Here we have 8 steel rods, which dia is 16 millimeter. The span between these two columns is 12 feet. Now guys, you can see the plinth beam on the top of this plinth level. Here the span between these two columns is about 20 feet. Guys, you can see we have three steel rods at the top, two at the bottom. Dia is 16 millimeter. Guys, you can see the size is 18 by 12 inches, 14 inches here. After fixing off this plinth beam, they will provide on the top of this plinth level. As you can see, span is 20 feet. This is four story commercial building. Now let me guide you for steel reinforcement. As you can see, this is lateral tie dia, which is 8 mm. But they didn't provide at the bottom, which is very important to provide here at the bottom. You can see guys, they didn't provide any development length to make a good bond between steel and concrete. Because this is end of the beam. As you can see, everything is wrong here in this construction, especially for column and beam junction as you can see the hooks the spacing should be minimum about six inches because this is commercial building which is four story look here guys size is 14 by 14 inches with concrete cover eight steel rods dia is 16 millimeter Okay, guys, the spacing is maximum, which is about 12 inches. So it should not be more than 6 inches. Hooks you can see which are bent on 90 degree. The other mistake, guys, you can see at the bottom in tension zone, they should provide 3 steel rods. But they provided 3 steel rods in compression zone or in upper portion of this beam. So therefore, this is one of the big mistake because concrete is strong. In compression but it's weak in tension so therefore in tension zone we should provide maximum numbers compared to its top portion